For centuries, biblical narratives have intrigued historians and theologians alike, with their authenticity and potential historical inspirations remaining subjects of ongoing debate. The question of whether these stories are purely fictional continues to divide opinions. However, recent discoveries may provide some tangible evidence supporting their historical validity. The story of Noah's Ark is a familiar one. Told to us as children, it's a tale that transcends cultures and religions, finding its place in Christianity, Judaism and Islam. Noah, a 600-year-old patriarch, is commanded by God to build an ark, a vessel that will carry two of each animal species to safety from a catastrophic flood. The biblical flood was not simply an act of destruction. It was a divine reset, a way for God to cleanse a corrupt world and restore it to its original state of paradise. Noah and his family were chosen to survive, their pure hearts deemed worthy of creating a new world in the aftermath of the flood. As the ark was completed and filled with life, the heavens opened, rain fell for 40 days and nights, submerging even the highest peaks. All life on earth was extinguished, save for those aboard Noah's Ark. The story of Noah's Ark, as told in Genesis, dates back to the 5th century BCE. Despite discrepancies in the text, many believe the story is based on historical events. The search for the Ark and the ruins has fascinated scholars and historians for centuries. Theories about the reality of Noah's Ark are widespread. Even the first edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica, published in 1771, described the Ark as factual. Despite the prevalence of these theories, concrete evidence has remained elusive. Despite the skepticism of many historians and archaeologists, the search for Noah's Ark continues. Recent findings by a team excavating in the eastern mountains of Turkey suggest they may have discovered not only evidence of the Ark, but also traces of human life from the same era. The Durupinar Formation, a 538 limonite feature, is believed by some to be the petrified remains of Noah's Ark, its proximity to the greater Mount Ararat, the mountain referenced in Genesis, has sparked interest among researchers. The Durupinar Formation matches the dimensions of the Ark as described in the Bible. Despite erosion and time, the similarity in size and shape is striking. A team of archaeologists from Turkish and American universities have been studying the Durupinar Formation. Their analysis of rock and soil samples from the site has led to some remarkable findings. The team discovered clay materials, marine materials and seafood in the samples, dating back to between 5000 and 3500 BCE. This suggests human activity in the area during the time the flood is believed to have occurred. The findings were presented at a symposium dedicated to the study of Mount Ararat and Noah's Ark. While the evidence of human life from the era is significant, the researchers believe there's more to be learned. As with any scientific discovery, there are skeptics. Some geologists argue that the Darupanar Formation is a natural formation, not the petrified remains of an ark, and many question the existence of a global flood. While the research team acknowledges their findings do not conclusively prove the existence of Noah's ark, they are not deterred. The evidence of human life from thousands of years ago is significant in itself. Whether you believe in the biblical story or are simply fascinated by history, the research being done in Turkey is groundbreaking. The question of whether the Durupinar formation is Noah's Ark may never be answered, but the insights gained about our ancient past are invaluable. If you like this video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and learn more about how we enhance history.